Facebook does not plan to notify half billion users affected by data leak. Here's a summary of the article. N. Greater than, Reuters, Facebook Inc. did not notify the more than 530 million users whose details were obtained through the misuse of a feature before 2019 and recently made public in a database, and does not currently have plans to do so, a company spokesman said on Wednesday. Facebook said in a blog post on Tuesday that, malicious actors, had obtained the data prior to September 2019 by, scraping, profiles using a vulnerability in the platform's tool for syncing contacts. The Facebook spokesman said the social media company was not confident it had full visibility on which users would need to be notified. He said it also took into account that users could not fix the issue and that the data was publicly available in deciding not to notify users. Facebook, which has long been under scrutiny over how it handles user privacy, in 2019 reached a landmark settlement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission over its investigation into allegations the company misused user data. Ireland's Data Protection Commission, the European Union's lead regulator for Facebook, said on Tuesday it had contacted the company about the data leak. The July 2019 FTC settlement requires Facebook to report details about unauthorized access to data on 500 or more users within 30 days of confirming an incident. This post received a score of 40,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. They legally have to in the UK and EU, so don't know what their plan there is. Pay the fine, probably. Then fight it and delay payment. Good luck with that in the EU. They'd happily shut them down for a stunt like that. Fine is 4% of their global turnover, so it will hurt a bit. Expenses and bad PR and user exodus might be much more in the long run than 4% of one year turnover. They're already getting bad PR, since the news is being shared. I doubt owning up to it could make it much worse. They did own up to it. They're just like, nah, no thanks, to telling the individual people whose data was affected. Because nobody reads the news. But people will read 500 meters individual emails. The people who use Facebook regularly definitely don't read the news. Most of us don't read period. You can check if your number has been leaked at. Damn Neopets. Only thing I was affected by thankfully LMAO. Edit. My account turns 21 years in 4 months. JFC I'll be able to buy it a beer soon. Haha <laughs> that site is awesome they have leaked passwords too. Go type in some and see how many people have used terrible passwords Mustang. My mom made my first password for me and it was just. Terrible ha ha ha. Just as bad. Guess she had to use something a nine-year-old would remember but it's a shame how long I actually used it for. I had to cut off access to a business owner because he would not stop using a password that, I kid you not, was on the level of ABC1. Took balls to do that but we were setting up a civilian contract with the US Air Force and they happened to check shit like this. I used to do IT work in the army. I literally had a major tell me his password, without me asking, because I was working on his computer. It was something along the line of password 123. You will love this. In 2015 the head of the Greek Secret Service was caught using a yellow post-it with the following password username, Minister Password, 123456 to make things even more fun, that was stuck on his monitor, which was visible on a picture taken for the government website. It was sitting there two years before someone noticed. Heard about it in a security training and was like no way, that must be fake. Checked out it and it turned out to be true. You can still find the picture online. Good old security by obscurity. Isn't that like super fucking illegal in Europe? Yeah, curious about this. It says my stuff's been PWNED four times, and I'm an EU citizen. Pretty sure I read the EU has a law that's supposed to fine companies quite heavily for shit like this. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.